If you visited any of our state parks on the weekends and even during the week now, uh, many run out of space um, at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Utah's state park system is seeing a massive surge in visitation. To keep up with demand, hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent to upgrade facilities all across Utah. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story from Summit County. It was an unusual type of ribbon cutting ceremony to commemorate a brand new Echo State Park. We have new restrooms throughout the park. We have a whole new campground down there with running water, sewer, electric, everything. Um, yeah, and the whole parking lot just paved, asphalted, over 150 boat parking. There's also a new beach for people to enjoy a picnic and these tiny home cabins for people who want to stay overnight. They're complete with kitchens and bathrooms. The upgrades at Echo and nearby Rockport are in response to demand. People love to be outdoors and having the state parks and the additional amenities that are being offered now with the upgrades. It's massive. The Utah State Park System was already seeing a growing number of visitors, but the COVID-19 pandemic made it surge. The pandemic had a major uh, impact on outdoor recreation in general. I recreate outdoors and I've seen it when I'm out uh, fishing and, and boating and hiking. There's just more people enjoying the outdoors. Across Utah, state-run parks are breaking records when it comes to visitation. The governor and legislature have begun emphasizing outdoor recreation, and with that comes improvements. More upgrades are in the works at other state parks. The legislature uh, has made a major, several major investments into our Utah state parks. Um, over $200 million worth of general fund money and also money that we collect at our state parks to be able to build facilities like this. The McConkie family is enjoying it. So what do you think of the, the park so far? It's really pretty. It's a great feeling to have, right, to see them come in, create their memories at such a nice, beautiful park. At Echo State Park, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.